I've been experimenting with a unijunction transistor, changing the circuit, changing the voltage. I start off with 10 volts and we'll take a look and see what the frequency is and uh, of course I'm going to capture the information with the oscilloscope and we'll go through what I found and show you the circuit of this unijunction transistor. Here's the circuit I'm using. It's uh, not very complicated. I'm using 10 volts to start with and a 2N4871 unijunction transistor. The RC time constant consists of a 20K ohm resistor and a dot 022 microfarad capacitor. Now the first point I'm going to look at is E. And you can see that we have a very nice sawtooth wave and the frequency is 1.60 kilohertz. Uh, the frequency is in the lower right of that display. Now I'm going to take a look at B1 to see what that looks like. And here we have some very nice, very quick pulses. And the frequency is about the same. Actually, I think they, you know, it might have warmed up a little bit. I haven't changed the voltage or anything. And, and it drifted a little bit, but not much. And here is B2. Okay, same frequency, but it's 180 degrees out. In other words, the pulses are pointed down instead of up, which, is, which can be very useful. It depends on what you're going to use these pulses for. Okay, now I'm going to go back and take a look at E again, but this time I'm going to change the voltage to 20 volts. And here we have our nice sawtooth wave again, but notice that the voltage, not the voltage, the frequency is a little lower. We've got uh, 1.49 kilohertz, almost dot five, uh, 1.5. Okay, let's take a look at B1. There's our pulses, and we do have uh, 1.5 kilohertz. And the pulses are pointed up, and when we take a look at B2, it'll be 180 degrees out again. Same frequency. So, again, depending on what you want to do, um, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use yet, but uh, I've got a choice. Now I'm going to go back to 10 volts. And I'm going to change R to 10K. And let's see what happens to this circuit. Well, I'm just looking at B. We've got a sawtooth at E again, and and the 180 at, uh, out at uh, B2. But what I'm interested in is the frequency. And now it reads 
zero five kilohertz. Okay. So now I'm going to change the capacitance from dot zero to two microfarads to dot zero one microfarads. And let's see what happens to that frequency. Okay, now it says it's six dot five eight kilohertz. So the frequency has gone up again, simply by lowering the capacitance. So this is quite a versatile circuit, easy to change, and unijunction transistors are very stable. Thanks for watching.